Hi. Okay. So I just woke up and I looked at the time and it's 2.28 or 14.28. Um, but my dream was a very intriguing one. It, it, I was swimming down this river with these people, but it was the apartment road. Um, and then it was these girls. Um, it was about six of them. Um, they, we stopped and, um, then the next thing went to them being in like front of their area it was fenced off it didn't have barbed wire at that time um but it did have it was like a brick fence and then a gate i was i was kind of saying what i <laughs> i i basically was saying that um you control your own world you have the power over it um, and they didn't like that. They were like, whoa, whoa. And there's this one girl that was just like, wait, that, that makes sense. She didn't say that, but she, she was like, can I have your phone number? And, and all of the rest of them wanted me to go. And, um, and that's basically what I was going to say was you control your own world kind of thing. Because you're supposed to hint to people about things. You're not... When in a way, what I mean by you're supposed to hint things to people. You're supposed to let them figure it out. Because it's basically of like... you getting burnt by that fire by yourself. Even though somebody tell, assisted you to say... Don't go to that fire because you're going to get burnt. You're going to want to learn it yourself. Because that's really the only truest way of understanding something. Is do it yourself. But going back to the story that <laughs> bless me that bless you that she wanted my number and I gave it to her <laughs> and I also gave my building number which was like six sixteen Six eleven, um, and then I left, and then it went to nighttime, and somehow I went, I was back at that bit, that like yard. It was um, and a bob wire around the brick, and then like this big long like another kind of gate thing, but it was a metal thing, um, and it had barbed wire on the top of it. Actually, I don't think it did. Until I thought of it, and then it did. But, um, it was like three guys, and they were robbing the, these people, and I, I'm pretty positive it was these girls. Because I think I see the girls, um, but I'm not quite sure. Um, and I, I kind of beat them up a little bit. Um, one didn't notice me, and I got, just took them out really, really quick. The other one, um, he noticed me, but he attempted to get away, and I kind of just stopped him, and then the other one had a gun, and, well, the, the second one I went, was gonna go in the box, like, on top of a box thing, and he did it because I threw him into it, and then I tore the top of it off, the top of the box thing off of it. It was like a really big box, almost like a dumpster, but it was a box kind of thing. And I threw it and I twirled it towards the other guy to like knock him out of the way. Because actually, we, but me and the other guy that had the box thing got over the wall, but I twirled it over the top of it so that the guy couldn't go anywhere, the other one, so I could handle that guy basically. And then the other guy had a gun, but. I seen where he was going, even though I didn't. Like, I used my intuition. 
because he was already gone. And I found him, and then he like shot me, and then like some energy came out and like stopped all the bullets. Or at least that's what I thought of when I woke up. I had a kind of thing, but um, I just thought that was a really interesting dream. Like he was very interesting. Um, <coughs> but yeah, um, pretty much, okay, well, peace, love.